So hello everybody, welcome back to another episode. I'm back with uh, Amita today. So Amita is the founder of Recharka. Uh, a lot of you would have heard about it or would have seen videos about it of um, how you know they make bags from plastic and a lot of different things. I think um, Amita will take us to that. So before getting into any conversation, uh, please, please help me out about what you do and what you're trying to do. Like you rightly said, we upcycle plastic waste mm -hmm. and uh, plastic waste is like this, uh, all our wrappers, yeah. you know, yeah. all these chips, packets, plastic bags, uh, the ones that are ideally banned but are still being used, mm -hmm. um, gift wrappers, which are also uh, something which people don't think it's plastic, wrappers like this, all the kitchen mm -hmm. Household yeah. stuff that we are using, and these transparent ones, and we also upcycle these bad guys, which used to be used yeah, to yeah. entertain us <laughs> all these years, and now yes. they are obsolete. So we are upcycling them as well. So that's what we do at Reach Arka, the Eco Social Tribe. That's the name of our organization. And I founded Reach Arka and I've been in this field and worked for this cause for over six years now. And that's that's all about what we do. Um, apart from just upcycling, we are also providing employment because the whole process is manual and employment uh, to tribal women and youth. So that's another part of the whole eco-social uh, dri drive that we are uh, taking care of. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. So, um, what's according to you? What do you think is your main? Like, what are you trying to do? Um, so of course you are you are trying to uh make you know recycle plastic and make bags and things we use every day. But according to you, what's what's the main purpose and the goal which you're trying to um you know cater to or trying to find? Sure. sure. So we do. Uh, I would say uh, you know broadly we work on three things. Uh, one is to actually four things. One is to conserve our environment, and uh, you know, basically at present, conserve the environment by reducing plastic waste from going into the landfills and oceans of our planet. Mm -hmm. Two, we enable livelihoods for uh, underprivileged people, especially in rural and tribal areas where employment is not available otherwise, other than agriculture. There's no other source of employment. Three, we are trying to revive our traditional sources of livelihood. For example, the charkha that we use and the hand loom that we use were traditionally extremely parts of our culture of livelihoods of each and every village. Um, they are sort of becoming obsolete now, so they're trying to revive them back and hence re charkha. Yeah. And then fourth is to make people aware and make conscious consumers so that they can make a different choice from their regular unsustainable lifestyle. So instead of going and buying a bag from the market, which yeah, is made yeah. of polyester or mm -hmm. some unsustainable material, they could buy uh, an upcycle bag, which is made of, of waste plastic and reducing some of that plastic from going to the land. So that's yeah. the whole idea of what we work. Mm -hmm. And so um, how, yeah, so the, the idea is, I think, pretty clear what you're trying to do and i think uh, it's in it's unique in itself no doubt in that um so moving moving a bit apart from it i would just just want to understand is how how can we understand that a bag a, what kind of bag has a plastic and what kind of bag does it say, like, say that again sorry. for example you said some some bags uh in in uh so i think okay so um how how do we how do we you know see what which what kind of material has plastic and what does it how do we differentiate in that? Oh, okay, okay. So all of the so everybody knows these plastic bags. Yes. Yeah. Which are being used as grocery shopping, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is one kind of plastic bag that we upcycle. Then this is a gift wrapper. You know, we use it to wrap gifts in, right? Yeah. So I thought this was an aluminium for, made with aluminium till today. And then you said it's not, it's plastic. <laughs> it's not aluminium. Just that it's just shining doesn't mean it's aluminium. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not aluminium at all. It is plastic, very much plastic. 
there's a little layer that shiny layer on top of it which is a bit of uh, aluminium in it or metal in it but otherwise the entire material is not aluminium it is plastic then all these wrappers of food packets that we use at home they have a layer inside which also looks like aluminium but it is a it is a layer of aluminium but entirely this is called multi layered package because they are you know sandwich of plastic and metal and that is why it becomes even more recycled then also nowadays i don't have anything to show you but the nowadays there are those kind of polypropylene bags non woven bags that they say which are very widely available in the market that is also plastic so it's a very simple trick to find out whether something is plastic or not or polyester or not we call it a burn test so you take one of these bags the polypropylene bags or a plastic bag and burn a little corner of it you will see that it melts mm-hmm. or it fuses together if it was cotton or silk or jute or any other a uh, plant based material it would have burned releasing carbon because plants and organic material is full of carbon but yeah. here it is not totally carbon these are uh, you know chain of uh, uh, polymers so it is not uh, natural and it takes hundreds and thousands of years to degrade which is what the problem is so a material which is made to last forever is being used for disposable use by us humans so that is where the problem is the problem is not with the plastic this problem is in in its use by us in its disposable use mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay great great thanks thanks for that so um, now my question here is i've seen a lot of a lot of companies doing this and a lot of companies such as coming up and doing something unique in that way so uh, is it is it uh, is it uh, like for example your dikcharka is using plastic and making uh, a lot of uh, usable items such as bags and all of that from it uh but uh isn't but a- end of it it's plastic right so if if it burns and uh, so is it really sustainable that's my question is yeah yeah you're right so once plastic is always plastic you yeah. can't change its form yeah so even what we do and we make is also plastic we can't do anything with it so that is why um, we are just extending the use of it so a plastic bag which was to be used for uh, it were it is usually used for 15 20 minutes or half an hour until you bring all the vegetables home from the grocery vendor or vegetable vendor you're using it on an average for 20 to 30 minutes yeah after that it's being thrown away or it's being used as a garbage bag or whatever we are taking about 50 of them to make a bag like this for example a bag that i have in my hand to make a bag like this um it takes should i remove this blur wait let's start it so for example this bag that i have in my hand has used about 50 plastic bags and wrappers which were single use plastic bags or single use gift wrappers and we are sort of uh, removing it from the environment and making it usable for the next 5 years 10 years whatever number of years this bag is going to be used for finally it is plastic only but the purpose of what we are doing is that we are uh, using this product uh, to uh, you know to first of all create livelihoods for people who are you know do not have a source of livelihood in their villages or in their cities and secondly whatever money we get by selling these products we are using it all to generate awareness amongst people about the refuse reduce reuse concept so mm-hmm. this is a 4r concept right refuse reduce reuse recycle so we are spreading the, the word about refuse reduce reuse instead of only recycling and upcycling so we are telling people don't use these things they say no to plastic say no to these gift wrappers that's where the change is going to happen and that's where everything is going to change mm-hmm. yeah totally totally so our movement is not just about selling bags or upcycling plastic it's much more than that mm-hmm. uh, so after after uh, so do you do you uh, retake the bags after the they are you know for say not good to use anymore correct we do so we do uh, we do have a policy of repair or repair warranty for lifetime so if the product is repairable we repair it and send it back to the customer 
uh, secondly if it is out of like it can't be used anymore then we we rip it apart and we send it for upcycling again so mm-hmm. that is what we do so we okay. are okay. and we ensure that it doesn't go in waste as in from our side we do that there's a label in our bag which talks about this so people can immediately get in touch with us mm-hmm. yeah wonderful so um as a brand you know a plastic and all of that you um, i'm not sure how things are and i think you'll have to even go through a lot of criticism as well that uh, at the end of the go day you're just using plastic what what different did you do uh, all of those different things um so how 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 all how has been the 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 journey of working for icharkha and creating an organization which is doing something unique in its in its thing yeah yeah it it's been a very um uh, i would say very uh, it's been lots of ups and downs in the whole journey <clears throat> we i've been doing this for more than 6 years now and uh, you know the we had to create the concept mm-hmm. so this concept didn't exist at that point in time when we started so to uneducate people and educate them to make make this concept uh known to people and then obviously the brand known to people uh to make people understand that yes there is a bag like this or there is a home decor product like this also um and so it's been a lot of uh, ups and downs we had to create the market market didn't exist as such so it's been a good journey uh, and it consists of various things uh even the upcycling process itself we had to do a lot of things to modify it so there were people doing it before us also but we had to modify it to uh, you know suit the products that we were doing or the final thing that we were about to launch uh, also we work with uh, people who did, never did weaving before so we had to train them we had to motivate them first of all to join yeah. then train them uh sustain the business for so many years obviously through the covid situation also we sailed quite successfully so that's where all the challenges are and on top of all of this the biggest challenge is to educate customers and waste generators so those were some you know big challenges mm-hmm. that we always faced yeah yeah today. and uh, have you have you ever like so has icharka ever Uh, ever contacted the local municipal corporations uh, to collect plastic waste and do, does that work we haven't uh, worked with the government before or ever mm, in some cases we have as in very recently we did a project with the forest department in mumbai to do some projects in one of the national parks there uh, but and in pune we worked with a non governmental organization called swachh which works with the pune municipal corporation for waste collection but essentially it was never um, in in terms of pmc it was never a pmc project some waste was collected through swachh but we never worked with the government as such it is possible to work with the government but then you need need uh, a little more bandwidth to get things rolling but in our case it's always been a very consumer driven project market driven project and volunteer driven project so it's been passionate people like me who work with us so uh, we have about 30 people working at pet with reach our car so overall it's been a whole you know effort by us rather than taking external help yeah wonderful wonderful so what would be your advice to entrepreneurs change makers uh, you know climate enthusiasts who wish to do something for the planet and to change things what would be your advice to them Uh, so if you are a startup or you are you know a business which is into eco social uh, or sustainable products make sure it is entirely sustainable think through everything so think through what material you are going to use where it's coming from what does its end life going to be what is its packaging going to be because i have always seen people making uh, you know nice organic products but the packaging itself is plastic, plastic. Mm-hmm. yeah so you are not doing justice to the cause that you're working for because it's not one or the other it's everything when you're talking about sustainability sustainability is everything it's not just one aspect i'm going to look only at organic food and not look after plastic packaging so that's not how it should be is what my advice is 
and secondly yes it is a little difficult than regular conventional businesses because you have to think through everything yeah. but i think that's what social businesses are people like me who are interested in doing that and who have the courage and persistence yeah usually jump into this so keep up with that keep up with your persistence be consistent don't give up uh, there are challenges there are ups and downs but if you stay put and focus on keep your focus on the goal that you were you originally started the organization with keep consistent with that because sometimes people change sometimes people change their goals also change their ideologies change their ethics so i really that's not what should be done yeah totally totally so uh, one last question is would you like to give any kind of advice any kind of um uh, Uh, what do you say? Any kind of message, a general message to everybody who is watching this and listening this. Sure. Biggest message is let's not use this. So all of these plastic bags, this, say no to it. Gift wrappers, we really don't need them. It's okay. Your gift is even more beautiful without than it. the gift wrapper. Yeah. Plastic bag is not needed. You can carry your own cloth bag. So always remember the. five hours actually of face management refuse so say no that's the most important thing only when you say no then everything else will change secondly um, reduce reduce your own consumption i always say this and actually the pandemic has taught this very much especially in the lockdown when things were shut we couldn't uh, go out and buy things so we were very satisfied with what we have our you know consumption patterns were very different Mm-hmm. third is reuse whatever is there keep reusing it because plastic is made to last forever let's use it forever don't throw it away <laughs> fourth yes. repair we've forgotten about it everybody has gotten into a use and throw Throwing, sort of mentality yeah. so yeah. if you know clo- cloth wears out a t-shirt gets torn a shoe gets torn you can go and get it repaired india luckily still has cobblers still has altering specialists still has watch repair people so we can all do that yeah. and then yeah. finally um, is uh, the fifth one is recycle so let's not just focus on recycling and upcycling but focus on the first four hours and only after all of that is done then go to recycle because every minute 10 million plastic bags are being used it's impossible to repair or sorry impossible to recycle all of those or any other plastic it's impossible to re- uh, recycle it so repairing refusing reducing is the only option mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and one, one more last question i would like to ask you is can we send our plastic waste to richard khan mm-hmm. yeah? you can definitely send your plastic waste to us we get uh, you know loads of plastic waste from all around the country so you can pack it uh, but make sure you send it only in once in 6 months or so once in 3 months or so because i want you to get it out of your life only life, so yeah. you will not even need to uh, use plastic even the wrappers and all there are ways there are package free solutions you can uh, follow us on instagram we keep putting up some uh, ideas for all these kinds of things so you are m- most welcome to send plastic after that yeah yeah totally surely yeah thank you very much again for being here really glad that you joined me in it is a pleasure to talk to you and sorry for taking your time out you were wonderful uh, i i know you're very busy with richard khan i know the effort you put uh, thank you very much again for taking your time out and joining me i'm really glad really glad thank you thank you very thank much you.